Hey guys, welcome to a new training tutorial. A lot of you sent in new requests. This week we're going to be talking about the overhead, also known as the aerial or the scoop. It's important to understand what happens when we actually throw an aerial or when we actually perform the scoop. What happens is when you place your stick under the ball, you're actually trying to get under the ball, trying to get the ball on the stick and the first bit the stick is attached to the ball and that's when it releases. So just comparing to the drag flick, with the drag flick the ball actually rolls off the stick. With an aerial pass or a scoop, the ball stays at the bottom of your stick constantly. So how do you hold your hands when you're doing a, an aerial pass or a scoop? Important is that your right hand is nearly at the bottom of the grip and whether you want to put your finger out or your finger in, that's all up to you. From here, again, you're going to try and make a 90 degrees angle. You're going to try and bring your left hand towards your underarm so you can get maximum power. So when doing the aerial pass, make sure you get low because if you stay high, you only get power from your arms. If you get low, you can get under the ball and you can get power from your, leg, your legs and from your core. So make sure you get nice and low. You bend your knees, make sure you have the right grip with your hands, get that 90 degree angle, try and get under the ball and push the ball up as far as you can. When practicing the overhead pass, make sure you really focus on where you want to pass the ball. Try and determine where you want the ball to bounce and focus on that spot. So when you want to play the overhead pass, make sure that your left foot comes close to the ball. The closer your left foot is to the ball, the more power you can get. Make sure you get nice and low so that when you get under the ball, you push your body upwards to get maximum power. Here's a challenge for you guys to practice at home. Create two targets uh, at different distances, take five balls and see if you can hit one of the targets. Almost. Good luck. So if you're not that big and strong yet and your aerial pass isn't that far yet, here's an exercise for you to do. Place one target that you want to play the aerial ball over and try and get it in the next target. I have two goals here and I'm going to try and go over the first goal and into the second one. Good luck.